Yo, what's good? Stu here, Stu TV. I cover all things blockchain, metaverse, crypto, NFTs, all money maker opportunities in the space. Back at you again with another crypto market overview. Just go over the latest and greatest, just overview for the markets today. Just try to condense it down, not make it as long as my other videos, so just forming that in different ways of content. But let's get into it. So we can just go right here. So we can just see with Bitcoin the price around 64,000. Just for the weekly close is coming up. So we'll see how this week goes. Overall, just within the markets, when you zoom out, obviously we still have to get near all time highs as far as we approach these different levels. But it's still time to get an accumulation with Fed rates coming up. So there's many different catalysts that lead to. But let's get into our first article. So we can go over and see. Let's scroll up. Bitcoin top 65,000 on rate cut outlook. Here's why interest rates impact BTC price. Bitcoin jumps on Powell's rate cut message. Prices peak at a three way high of 65,000. Rates impact BTC's liquidity and adoption. So let's actually scroll through, read through this article. OG coin is increasingly sensitive to interest rates. Now it's available for every investor to pull into their portfolio. Bitcoin surged roughly 8% Friday and briefly top 65,000 per coin. Behind the rally was a specific macronomic event. These have been getting increasingly enmeshed in the crypto space as digital assets have been moving closer to mainstream finance and traditional investments. Jay Powell, chair of the Federal Reserve, said at the annual Jackson Hole Gallery, of the central bankers that interest rates are primed for a cut. Changes in borrowing costs affect the capital flows in the crypto space, which is full of higher risk assets. Market participants are more likely to grab a loan that's cheaper to pay it off than piled debts that carry a higher interest rate which will be more costly to repay. So you can just see, just reading this article, interest rates will be lower. So there'll be a lower penalty for a lot of these big Fortune 5 companies or big institutions that want to come in and make mass purchases. So you can see with the timing of this rally, especially with the election as again mainstream adoption, how it's being talked about. Right? So it's kind of setting it up in that particular format with all these news and catalysts coming together. But at the end of the day, none of this is financial advice. Nobody has an actual prediction just on the markets and exactly what's going to happen 100%. If they do, tell them to hit my DMs at Stoops underscore so fresh. But let's go on to our next article. So we can see here's what happened in crypto today. Need to know what happened in crypto today? Here's the latest news on daily trends and events impacted Bitcoin price, blockchain, DeFi, NFTs, Web3, and crypto regulation. So we have Polygon. Polygon, Avalanche, and ZK Sync were all hit with Discord scams attacks within 48 hours of each other. Fetch.ai has announced the creation of a new innovation lab in San Francisco, California, aimed at supporting early stage startups in the artificial intelligence industry. And Gavin Wood is launching a new digital identity solution called Proof of Ink, which uses tattoos as proof of digital citizenship. Polygon Discord compromises the hits. Avalanche ZK Sync hours later. Layer 1 Network Avalanche and Layer 2 Blockchain ZK Sync Discord servers have been hit with exploits in less than 48 hours. In August 25th, to post on X, the official account for Avalanche shared that his Discord server has been compromised and urged users not to interact or click with any links. But let's read this. The Avalanche AVAX token distribution has started. It's time to launch the distribution phase of the AVAX program program holders and community members are free to claim below in our claim portal so it shows the actual link it just showing it shows a screenshot of the scam link from the avalanche discord server so when you see articles like this make sure you always use a burn up wallet to start and then also communicate with others that's doing their airdrop as well to just see if anything happens or anything bug they can notify you without more people getting fall under the same trap that's why it's important to have a community and make sure you join us over at alpha crawl chains click the link below so you just get help and guidance on your way. According to screenshots shared by members of the Avalanche Discord on X, the attackers post several links to sham distribution schemes for the Avalanche token, claiming that holders and communities members could claim free AVAX. I'd be very careful with just clicking on links, what you interact with in the Web3 space. It truly is a wild, wild west with all the parts of regulation. We got Fetch.ai launches Innovation Lab. On August 23rd, the centralized machine learning program Fetch.ai announced the launch of new innovation hub to advance artificial intelligence and technology that continues to merge with blockchain applications. When you announce it will allocate 10 million annually to projects involved in AI agent technology. We aim to fund support that bridge the gap between research and market, delivering tangible advancements that revolutionize industries and the power of AI agents.
supported blockchain projects and decentralized applications continue to prove intersect with technology. Earlier this month, the AI focused story protocol announces 80 million from funding major backers, including 16Z Crypto and Polychain Capital. AI fetch AI interacts with all these different blockchains. How that AI is actually going to support and be complementary to um, just different aspects within crypto, AI, and blockchain being paired together, and just how all these different ecosystems are going to build the components of smart cities and what that overall will look like. If you want more information, you can definitely click on this article. It shows you just a little bit more in terms of their internship and their ambassador club, how much they're expected to reach, what things they're actually doing to partner up with these blockchain different ecosystems. So a lot that you can check out there. So we can actually just scroll back. We just have Proof of Ink by Gavin Wood, the tattoo that secures your Web3 privacy. Party Technologies are launching the Web3 individuality solution, which is crucial for missing element from mainstream adoption. The new solution, Proof of Ink, will enable users to prove their digital individuality in private pre-serving manner through a unique tattoo serving as proof of digital citizenship. Proof of Ink is set to launch in the fourth quarter of 2024. According to Wood, the co-founder of Ethereum, Polkadot, and Kasuma, Wood announced during a keynote speech at the Web3 Summit in Berlin. Berlin. We were able to deploy the baseline palette and the launch of the app at the same point. Hopefully in the final quarter, we are aiming to launch the other two mechanisms. So they have these different mechanisms on how that's going to look with Web3 privacy to see how that just builds out. What exactly did they determine in Divas privacy? What do I have to give up or be able to submit as an individual to verify my identity? So I'd be just curious and interested to look at with this proof of ink and verification, but although having a trustless based system that makes sense for all parties involved but let's go on to our next article telegram says it is compliant with eu digital services act at the founder pavel de rose arrest if i'm pronouncing that right the company said its ceo has nothing to hide at ton coins losses subside the Telegram said in the statement that it's complied with all the European laws, the platform said it's always working to improve its content moderation and practices. Messaging app Telegram says it's fully complies with the European Union law and its content moderation practices are within industry norms. Telegram abides by European laws, including the Digital Services Act as moderation within the industry standards. With the formal charge, the sheet has yet to be published by prosecutors. Earlier media reports indicate that prosecutors are assigned culpability to the Rose and Telegram for criminal acts that were organized or published on Telegram. It is absurd to claim a platform or its owner are responsible for the abuse of a platform, Telegram said in a published statement. In the statement, Telegram linked to a March 24 post from Ruff, which predicted that the company would face some sort of challenges in its growth because of its moderation practices. All large social media apps are easy targets for criticism due to its content they host. I can't recall any major social platform whose moderation has been consistent consistently praised by traditional media, he wrote. Moderation efforts have been particularly negative for most of the history. Interestingly enough, Meta was also the first social media company to have reached a trillion dollar plus valuation. Telegram will likely have to go through similar growth stages before it surpasses legacy platforms. I know my main takeaway is how does that interfere with me just overall interacting with the network as a Telegram user and being able to use the app. And they're also farming these different air jobs for these different tokens. Y'all know you got chicken coop you got dogs blum there's just so many just different other ones that you could be able to get into and just from that perspective would that affect that in any way as far as the news airdrops the the allocated amount that could be stored for that do they have to pay different things off like how is this going to affect finances things what are these legal suits how would the money come from just a lot of these things cost so just being able to affect and think from that particular angle but also just from the wider scale it could allow people to buy in a different entry i know people just say you know buy in on a dip but this is a dip in the opportunity just depending on the price and depending on the time which you watch this but it'd be an interesting article and something that you've got to keep your eye on especially if you're interacting with a ton of ecosystem like myself but let's go over to our altcoins for the week so we can see we have bitcoin at 63,678 we have ethereum at 2735 binance 563 dollars solana usdc xrp at 59 cent then we have dogecoin coming in at 10 cent trying coming in the top 10 at 16 cent we have ton coin currently you can get ton coin at five dollars and 61 cent and you have cardano at 38 cent number 12 avalanche shiba unu 
chain link bitcoin cash poker dot to round out the top 20. so let's look at our trending so we can see that Tron has definitely got a lot of the market share just for the trending for the day. I know Tron is just up 22.8% in the past week. I know meme coins on that chain has been going dumb crazy. You got ton, ton coin just still at $5.64, still down just over this past week with the recent flood of the news. Simon's Cat coming up at 41.6%. Resistance Dogs, we got Not Coin and Sun Token. That's a Tron, Tron meme coin. And then we got Pepe and Solana just coming coming in so just looking at those different prices for the trend in cryptocurrencies today going over to our largest gainers we have resistance dog cavalin frog nulls simon's cat just see that pop up brainlet daddy tate <laughs> sun dog they just have some of these random ones come up pups nasa pepe coin let's look over top losers we have crypto ai robo burn game Alphic Finance, Sun Token, we have Nero on ETH, you have LimeWire, Probably Trade, Shrapnel, Habibi, a Shuffle, Undead Game. So those are our losers for the day. So let's just be aware and just keep track of just what coins are popping off and what tech and what chain and what sector, what catalyst. So there's many different ways on how you can break that down. We can go over to Tron. I know Tron has definitely got the spotlight. And this is some of the Tron coins that's been popping off. I know you got Sun Dog. I know I've been hearing that one. 193.3 percent over the past seven days 24 hours is over 22.4 percent then you have dragon sun that one's been up so far sun wakon if i'm pronouncing that right sun cat that's another one this went dumb crazy it's over 354.1 percent then you have coconut chicken so just many ones that i haven't really heard of in terms of just getting into the trying ecosystem but make sure you just pay attention to trying just all the things they got pump fund dot ecosystem and launching coins on trying you know I had that liquidity stash and being able to distribute it through some token distributor but it's just something in fact that they're doing as far as having more people attract from other chains so it'll be interesting to see on how that ecosystem just develops and how long this meta will go with Tron coins and will that turn into more liquidity that will flow into NFTs how would that look will there be ton projects to start popping off with the NFT meta just coming close by so there's so many different things to be able to look at but just wanted to cover that as far as the Tron means but let's go over to our next and last article. So we have Sunny unveil Sunium, a new Ethereum layer 2 blockchain. Sunny Group has unveiled a new blockchain initiative, Sunium, developed in its partnership with Startle Labs. Sunium is a, if I'm pronouncing that right, is an Ethereum layer 2 blockchain designed to enhance scalability and user experience. It also aims to make blockchain technology accessible to a broader audience. Sunium will be useful for Web3 projects across entertainment, gaming, and finance industries. This move employs Sony's strong Web2 ecosystem as a means to promote the use of blockchain technology. Sunny Block Solution Labs the team behind the project stressed that owing to Sony's distribution advantages and built-in audience, Sunium could become a mainstream product. So that's just important just to note that they already had the audience and they already have a brand coming into Web3. So you'll see a lot of more brands, especially as crypto gets more mainstream adoption, you're going to see a lot of more Web2 major brands come in and start building their own blockchain to be like, okay, we see what they're doing on all these other ecosystems. We already had the audience. We already had the customer base of users and people that can be able to interact with us on Web2. All we got to do is just transfer and educate our audience and bridge over our audience to Web2 three so i believe you're going to see many other just big web 2 ecosystems and industries come over and it makes sense because they already got the audience just built in whatever platform that they're going to release all they got to do is just promote it effectively in a way that resonates with their customer base and audience and sunium testnet launch date unclear sunium to reveal more details the testnet is being prepared and there is no fixed date for the launch of the blockchain more specifically sony block solutions labs is expected to disclose for Further information regarding the tools that will be available and the conditions necessary to build upon the platform. For the testnet, Sunium will incorporate Astar's network ZKEM to improve the new blockchain's first liquidity. In the future, the platform will be named Sunium to expect it to induce features such as safeguarding rights of artists and evolving new ways of distributing 
revenues from a fair crowding between artists and fans. These features aim to benefit content creators by ensuring their work is protected and they receive a fair compensation. So that's an interest, especially for somebody like myself. Apart from the Sony project, Sony also has plans to launch its local cryptocurrency trading platform in Japan, which will result in advancement. So it'll be curious to see just breaking all that down. But let's actually go over to our Twitter. So you can go over to their Twitter, realize the open internet that transcends boundaries, empowering individuals and communities to collaborate, create, fill the world of motion together. So it says introducing Sonium, Sony Block Solutions Labs, building a public Ethereum layer two generation blockchain ecosystem designed to evoke emotion and empower creativity. So this shows how you can learn more. You can go over to the website, click on more. It shows different articles. I'm not going to actually go through all this and read, but you can just scroll through what are we trying to realize by developing blockchain, the underlying infrastructure of Web3. is possible to provide a comprehensive Web3 solution as a Sonium testnet. It's just our first step. And this shows just all the different ways on how they build our infrastructures, partners, just people that they're being able to launch with, how much they're going to have in funding. There's something to pay attention to. Keep your eyes on as I just scroll through just all this. You can click on the website, go to the homepage, and then it has access to the Discord, the Twitter, the Telegram, being able to get access in there. I know I went grind it. So when you join the first part of the server, you do have to grind up to a level four. And then once you grind in there, it gives you access to the main channel where you can get access and get the latest news updates and updates and resources for your benefit. But that's our crypto market update overview for today. Just wrap up, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, make sure you share the video. Stay tuned for all the ones I'm going to drop. I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace out.